Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Amit and in today's video I'm going to be going through my aftercare routine that I've been doing for the past two months after I got a hair transplant in Turkey. Now before I get into all that, I just wanted to say thank you for getting this channel to above 500 subscribers. Uh, I honestly never thought I'd ever hit that milestone, so I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. It really helps me, uh, motivates me to keep making content for you guys and hopefully bring some value to everybody that's watching. So really, I appreciate it all. So this video is actually going to be very similar to the My Routine section in my last video, which was my two-month update. I wanted to have a dedicated video on my YouTube page uh, about my routine because I feel that a lot of people might have skipped that part in my two month video. According to YouTube analytics, uh, people do skip it. But it's all good. I completely understand people skip what's not relevant to them or maybe they just are busy in their day and they can't watch the whole video. That's totally fine. But for me, I just think that this part of your hair transplant aftercare is pretty important and I wanted to hopefully highlight it a little more to people who haven't seen it, especially because I haven't really seen that many videos online about the aftercare treatments and how people actually apply it on your head or your scalp. So hopefully the video that I've made, you guys like it and it's very useful to you and hopefully it can help you as well when you're doing it because a lot of people are new to this. Even I'm new to this, so I'm just trying to figure it out along the way and hopefully it can give you guys uh, some good tips as well. I do want to highlight that some of these products are from Vera Clinic, a clinic that I went to in Turkey. If you're not sure what exactly these products are, I'll leave a link in the description below to the clinic's website and you can search for all their items on there. Anyway, I will play the clip and uh, enjoy. So a lot's been going on these last two months, but uh, one thing that I made sure I kept intact was a routine for my hair loss. I try to make sure that I'm trying to maintain the native hair that's actually growing on my head right now, as well as not trying to damage any of the grafts that have been implanted on my head. So basically, I kind of just start out every morning uh, as soon as I wake up, after I brush my teeth and get ready for, for work, I use this hair spray. And as you can see from this video, I attempted to do a little fancy trick, which clearly did not pan out for me. But um, eventually, I kind of got to work again and tried it again. Take two. Success! Um, so basically now I'm just spraying a couple of sprays on my head, rubbing it all onto my scalp to really get right into the to gist of it. That's pretty much it. Uh, afterwards I wash my hands and get ready to put on the next part, which is the minoxidil. Uh, I then apply some of the minoxidil to my hand. Then I start rubbing it on my fingers, as you can see here, and then we just really get into the nitty gritty of, of the hair. Now I'm only applying the minoxidil onto my donor area as instructed by my clinic. They basically said, I just want to try to maintain the regrowth of my donor area to see how well it will grow back out. So I'm really just focusing on those areas. And uh, we finish up with a little smile at the end. Right after I finish up my minoxidil in the morning, I go and take a bunch of my vitamins. Uh, first thing I take is the finasteride followed by vitamin Bs, uh, B complex, vitamin D, fish oil, collagen, and multivitamins. Uh, I know it might sound a bit overdosed, but I've always been taking this even before I got a hair transplant. So I'm, I'm just sticking to what I do and keeps my immune system up. Then midday when I'm about to go for my shower, I use the, uh, the GF shampoo that the clinic has also recommended. Um, this is also apparently good with a lot of vitamins to help with the hair on your head. And that's been going great for me as well. I usually use this shampoo every other day. I don't use it every single day, um, only because I don't want to overdo it on my head. So I kind of just spread it out a little bit. And lastly, at night, I use the GF hair serum. I made a video on how I actually use this every day, um, every night before I sleep actually, and it's been pretty useful. Like they provided four bottles uh, for me to use, and it's I'm just about to finish my first one. So, you know, it's been going at a good pace, uh, and I feel like that really helps to help heal both your donor area and the area that's been transplanted on your head. Now for the GF serum, I decided against doing a trick with the bottle this time around. So instead I just dabbed it onto my fingers, rubbed it as you can see here, and placed it right onto my scalp. Now, same exact thing, just rubbed it all around, uh, really get into the roots of your hair and scalp. And um, once you're done with that, end off with another smile. And of course, I also do one more round of minoxidil at night. So both morning and night. So that's a routine I've been doing every single day for the past two months, ever since I got my hair transplant from Turkey. I try to make sure I don't miss a day and stick to this routine as much as possible. I know that there are other things that I could probably do, 
but right now this routine is currently working for me and I'm seeing results. But of course, if you guys have suggestions on what I should be doing, what more I should be doing, please do leave them in the comment section below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts. And of course, let me know what your routines are because I'm sure you guys are going through the same exact thing as me if, uh, if you've gotten a hair transplant. So it'd be nice to know what you guys are doing and what you guys are applying on your head and your scalps. And maybe even I could pick up some tips from you guys because that'd be great. It would be great to just compare our routines and see what works for everybody else. But for now, I think uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I really just wanted to highlight my routine that I'm currently doing. Uh, again, I know it's very specific to me, but I hope that it brings some value to some of you guys. Hopefully if it does, do consider liking and subscribing to follow on my videos to follow, see more content like this. And of course, if you guys wanna follow me along my journey to get a full head of hair again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.